Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats and today we have got the first in a whole product line that we're going to be trying of ice creams and this is a new brand that is apparently going to be available at Walmart. It's not in our stores yet though. And just for disclosure, how do we get it? We were sent these products, the whole product line of their ice creams. I believe there's seven flavors um, by the company. They reached out to us and we said, yeah, sure, send it our way and we'll review well, it. Well, just to clarify, it was actually not the company, but like a woman who markets. Um, oh, well, regardless you know, though, someone some, affiliated. Yeah, some, yeah. yeah, exactly. So we got this and as always, we are five minute eats. So we always give you our honest opinion. So what is this one? This one is the Eva's Helado Artisanal Dolce de Leche, 14 ounces of basically Mexican inspired ice cream. Mexican inspired ice cream. Yeah. So yeah, so the, this sounds really good, right? I love yes. the packaging. It looks like a million bucks. Yes, it looks great. Now it says on here that it's made in California and it says that it is a journey into the traditions of pan Latinx culinary culture. All right, so we got to talk about this because I was on their website and there was a lot of things on this website that just infuriated me, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah, infuriated me. <laughs> infuriated. because Infuriated. Yeah, because as a minority, this is something that I really dislike because Ava is not Mexican. She's a Swedish white lady, right? She's oh. like a, a woke white lady who calls herself an advocate, oh. which that's never a good thing, right? Because these people are like crusaders and stuff like that. Um, so Ava starts using on the website everywhere, Latinx, Latinx. Mm. And it's like, let's face it. If you've ever talked to Latinos, they never like this Latinx thing. It's always woke white people that have embraced this. Mm. They're trying to alter their language. And it's very annoying. So you see this on this product, Latinx. Mm -hmm. It's like just very cringe, man. So there's a big... Uh, strike on this product already because oh, of that because wow. like imagine Ava if we came to Sweden and we just started changing things Changing the, the Swedish meatballs and Ikea and everything like that, right? Just mm. started changing Swedish culture just because we told you we know better, right? Stop being an advocate Let people just do their own thing for their culture. You don't need to like, you know, change things for them so, oh, okay. So are you just saying hush up and make the ice cream? Yeah, just make the ice cream. Okay. We don't need you like telling us what else to do, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, now I will say I am excited because it's Dolce de Leche. I do like that flavor. Like it's basically like going to be, they say a cajeta infused ice cream with the... I'm surprised she didn't throw the X in there. Dolce de Leche X? Yeah. <laughs> Regardless though, it's got this caramel ribbon throughout it. Caramel X. Caramel X. It looks pretty good. Now here's what I will say is my gripe with this already. So this has in it locust bean gum and guar gum, which if you saw our vanilla ice cream week, that is like an additive to make it like thicker and creamier, which Hagen dazs who won the Vanilla Ice Cream Week, did not include that and they had the best one. So this is something I don't understand with these ice cream manufacturers. If Hagen dazs does not put the stuff in there, why are you guys doing it? Because I just feel like it cheapens the product mm. because that Hagen dazs Vanilla Ice Cream is like amazing. Yes. You can just have that on its own, right? Mm -hmm. And when you see this like gum and all this kind of thickeners in it, I just feel like it just hurts these uh, products. Yeah, but I mean, maybe this one's gonna taste good. I will say it looks like there's a lot of caramel. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday gross items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this on. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. I did not like this at all. I was really shocked by this because I had high hopes because, um, you know, this sounded good on their website, except for the, you know what, Latinx <laughs> nonsense. But other than that, I actually was excited because I like uh, Mexican ice cream. Uh, this thing, I think the problem is it is the, the thickening agents in here. Mm. 
it just doesn't taste like ice cream. Like it's just too, um, um, like what's the word here? Thick. Uh, it's not creamy. Look, the thing is when we buy ice cream, we buy the Haagen-Dazs. Um, and so when you are used to that and you try this, you notice a difference. Like trying this, I would not even consider this ice cream. It's just like a weird creation. The other thing is I think this thing is way too freaking sweet. It's gonna be kind of a crazy statement, but I think this is too much Dolce de Leche. Mm. I think the caramel is like way too much in this. Um, and then you got the ice cream that is just like um, too thick. It's like, I wish it was creamy. I think this is a weird ice cream. Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. All right, um, I would like some clarification. When you say it's not creamy. Yeah, I think it's like, dude, it's freaking like gummy. It's just, gummy, it's like okay. tar, like, you know, it's- Tar? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> you know, the texture is like all off. For me, the texture is very off. Okay. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. I like this one. It's not an enthusiastic thumbs up though. You know what, it's not because here's the thing. It definitely doesn't compete with Haagen-Dazs in terms of the texture and because like flavor. Because they make flavor. a Dolce de Leche. Yeah, they do. And that one is good too. I do like this though. And I could definitely see buying it again. The Caramel, I kind of agree with you. It is kind of a little bit much, which normally I want like more caramel and things like this, but I do feel like it is a very, very, very sweet caramel. And I think that whenever you add in the fact that the ice cream portion of it is also very, very sweet compared to some others, it does make for a almost sickeningly sweet kind of ice cream. But, you know, maybe if you have like a very small portion, like a tiny scoop, then it would be more tolerable. I feel like, to me, this was creamy, but not in a Haagen-Dazs creamy way. It is very, very similar, and I don't know if you remember this one. It's very similar to the Tillamook Extra Creamy that we really did yeah, not yeah. love. Yeah, we ranted about that because yeah. it was not extra creamy. Yeah, because it was, it was kind of gummy yep. it, it, because of the thickening agents and stuff. That's a bit how this is, but I do think it was better than the Tillamook in flavor, so that way I was able to, to be more on its side. Like when I say it's not creamy, you know, like if you were to be blindfolded and they put this in your mouth, mm -hmm. you would be like, what is this? That's what like my issue with this is. I think here's the thing, because there's a lot of people that were huge fans of the Tillamook. Yeah. Um, I think if you're used to a texture like that, then you would think that this is amazing. And I think if you're yeah, used because to- We didn't like the Costco ice cream either. Exactly. And I think if you're used to Haagen-Dazs or something that's like very like clean ingredients, no additives, then you may not like this, but I do think that the flavor is good enough. I would love to know Ava, who's an advocate, right? Uh -huh. Why she puts uh, locust bean gum and guar gum in it. Mm -hmm. Why? Why not just go the Haagen-Dazs route? Because I see nobody really going that route. Yeah, you most notice people that? do not. Because yeah. we've done a lot of ice cream and most ice cream manufacturers will not uh, go the Haagen-Dazs route. Yeah. I don't know why. It because seems when you, strange. It does seem strange because when you try their stuff, the Haagen-Dazs, yeah, it's a little bit more pricey and all that kind yeah. of stuff, but you know what? It's damn freaking good, man. Yeah. I will say though that like, for the most part, the rest of their ingredient list is not bad. Yeah, because they got cane sugar. Yeah, exactly. And they have, you know, like the um, condensed milk and non-fat milk and cream and all that stuff. It's just those two additives at the bottom and it's like, why put those in? However, if you like a caramel like Dolce de Leche ice cream, I think that this is definitely worth trying because the caramel is actually really good. Stay tuned because we have way more from her. In the meantime, to sum this up, thumbs up, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.